Hi guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a simple project in Xcode and how we are going to put one label and we will write some hello world text over there. Now in this video, we are going to see how we can run that simple app on the emulator. Why we have to check it only on emulator? Let me tell you one thing very important that if you do not have a developer account for the Apple app development or you can say iPhone app development, you cannot run into the physical device. So for that, you have to buy it, the developer account that costs you $99 per year. So for that, but meanwhile, for testing our app, we can use our emulators and simply we can run the app with the help of that emulator and whatever you will run it on the emulator, some of the features you need the physical device like capture the image and everything but most of the time you will not require the physical device for your development whatever it will show you into the emulator it will show in your real device as well so what we have here the emulator section here you click on here and you will see a lot of emulators are there so i will choose any of the emulator i will choose the latest one iphone 13 pro max and then what i will do i will click on the start the active scheme button display button looks like and as you will do that it will immediately show that square button so you can stop it also and it starts building over here you can see the progress here right now this yellow icons and white is coming we will see that into the future videos how does it actually look so i'll click on it and we will see that how does the application looks into the emulator so this is one of the emulator iphone 13 max and i'm trying to run the application over here so once the application runs here, you can simply see these buttons. Emulator has the facilities. You don't have to do much things here. You can simply emulator automatically creates. Here is another emulator that is 11 Pro Max that you can choose. You can run your application into various emulators at the same time. You cannot do, but one by one in each and every emulator you can check it. Okay, now you see iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now if you want to see same thing into iPhone 11 Pro Max, you can simply click here and you can see this thing. So now from here you can simply every time change the emulators. You have all the facilities to change. Now anytime you want to stop it, once you want to try to stop it, you will simply stop the application from here. You see here. And the icon will be there. You can click it and you open it. So this is a very simple emulator and it have all the features for showing your app to be running successfully. So see you guys in another video where I will teach you and I will give you the tour of Xcode IDE, what are the things and how you are going to do the development in that. So if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. I will teach you the real life and the real time projects in which you will learn the things which you can use for your app development and other purposes as well. So see you guys in another video.